hello, I'm Cole, if you didn't know, and this is, uh, I'm really happy to deal with you guys and show you our new segment. Uh, this new segment is something we all agreed on, and it is our new uh, Monday mail call. So as you can tell, I got this box. I have no idea what it is. I don't even remember ordering it, um, but it was shipped to my house. As you can see, my address is right here. Um, right, Todd? This is called Monday mail call, right? Uh, we're, uh, it's Breed a Boost. Actually, that's that's what we're doing. We're doing Breed a Boost. Okay. Might as well open it because we have it here too. So I'm probably gonna speed this up just so that you don't have to see it. But hey, enjoy. This is my first time doing one. Of these. I am not very good. Oh wow, another package in a package. That's kind of cool. And for somebody that. I don't even know what this is. They did a really good job of packaging this. Waterproof bag, that's kind of cool. Well, now that we got to the final bag, I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Um, so I guess let's open it. I'm going to show you guys first so you can see it and enjoy it. Weird, somebody shipped me a library book? If you can tell by the slight change, uh, I accidentally uh, messed up some of the audio uh, in the first run and realized that I wasn't using uh, 1080p. So while I'm not going to redo a fake unboxing, uh, I still wanted to redo this for you guys. So my first burrito boost is for a book called Upgrade Soul. It was written and illustrated by Ezra Clayton Daniels, letters by Darren Bennett, uh, published by Lion Forge. Uh, it comes in you know, a nine issues, I think is what it was, um, but currently collected in trade. And as you can see, it, I got mine from my local library. So I would guess it's fairly obtainable from most local libraries. Um, at heart, this book is a sci-fi book and it kind of asks one general question. If you were to have this wonderful life, find your perfect partner, or at least what you assume is your perfect partner and soulmate, and you were given the opportunity to start all over with all the memories and all the experiences that you have both in your own, but with each other, would you take the, that, you know, would you take the ability to do that? And uh, this book follows an elderly couple named Hank and Molly Nannar, and uh, it's them going on this journey where they get the opportunity to, uh, you know, put their memories and experiences into these vessels as we can call them um, and maybe it doesn't go as good as it should so you get to see the interaction between them and these vessels and how you know dealing with somebody that has all of the memories that you might have um, and also you know dealing with these doctors who are uh, creating these processes and they're seeing that hey maybe this isn't as good of a thing as we thought it would be um, and yeah, I mean, is it worth it to be able to start over again, have all your memories and stuff? And like, you know, how would things happen if you were to do that? I think this book does a very good job of like making you think about stuff, um, adding in a lot of other, you know, I guess like there's, it's, well, it's sci-fi, it adds in the other aspects of something like, you know, there's a lot of slice of life stuff. You get to see a lot of character building uh, between, you know, some of the people within the hospital, some of their family members, the family members of Hank and Molly. And I, I'm one of those books that I think anyone that is interested in the comic medium should get. I would recommend it. Uh, I mean, as I found it at my library, hopefully you should be able to too. I think in November, they're coming out with a hardcover issue. The soft cover version is pretty nice. It looks like it's 1999 in uh, the US. And yeah, I would, I mean, I'm probably gonna end up buying a book because of that. And yeah, I mean, as a first burrito boost, I could not say that there's a better book than most people in the comic world should be reading than Upgrade Soul by Ezra Clayton Daniel, uh, with letters once again by Darren Bennett and published by Lion Forge. Thanks. Bye. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Nick from the Comic Burrito, and uh, this is my burrito boost. Uh, 
I want to talk about a book that I haven't gotten much of a chance to talk about too much. It is Gogor from Ken Gearing. Image Comics. Ken uh, does the writing, the art, the coloring. Um, he did the book Planetoid. Hi. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm on my way to work. It is, I didn't read Planetoid, uh, but that's, I guess, what he's most known for. Um, it's a fantasy book for all ages, uh, or young adults. It is set in the world of Altara, um, which is this really cool, um, kind of, uh, ring world that's composed of, uh, these floating islands. Um, it's a very colorful world, uh, with very unique, uh, characters. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it's really cool. He, it, Armando, our hero, is summoned to, summoned isn't the right word, but he's, uh, called to, um, summon the creature Gogor after his uh, island of academia is attacked by the Domus. Um, and the Domus are these people um, who their very way of life is, you know, uh, uh, technology, advancement, um, money, uh, possessions, that kind of thing. They, uh, you know, strip the world of its resources in the name of a better um, future, or what they believe is a better future, whereas Armando's uh, world is um, much simpler life. Um, people do things that they're passionate about, and you help each other out. Um, so when the Domus attack, Armando has to uh, go get Gogor. <coughs> um, to fight back is what he's what he's thinking at least, um, and Gogor is this really cool kind of swamp thing uh, like entity. Um, he's very strong and uh, he doesn't speak very much, <clears throat> um, but of course everything's not exactly uh, you know what it seems to be. Um, the only downside to Gogor was and it's a key word of was, that it was canceled at issue five. So this was, this was one, um, and uh, it was a real big bummer for me. I believe it was 2019 or so. It was one of the first books that I just picked up because I thought the cover was really cool and I hadn't read much fantasy stuff. And I saw a preview of the little ring world thing and traveling from each little island. Um, seemed like a neat idea, so I picked it up, and it was just one of those books that I really, uh, really looked forward to, and then all of a sudden, uh, you got to the last page of issue five, and it was like, we're done, not enough people bought the book, uh, so it got canceled. But, uh, I saw Ken Gehring's Twitter, uh, he posted in... December that he's working on new Gogor. So go check it out. Get issue uh, issue one. I believe you can read free on Comixology or it's an image. So I'm sure you can get the trade cheap for like 10 bucks or something. Uh, it's on Hoopla. Uh, just check it out on Hoopla. Read it. And then you can do your own burrito boost and tell other people what a cool story it is. And yeah, then we'll get volume two and see how this all shakes out. Um, because I really wanted to know, that was the big bummer, was that it got canceled halfway through the story and it didn't even get a chance to see it fully finish. So go check out Gogor volume one. This is my burrito boost. Bye. Not sure how I want to do this or even intro the video. I should do some research. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, this could be good. Hey, everybody. This is Todd from Comic Burrito at The Comic Burrito on Twitter. 
and Instagram. Uh, I'm going to be doing my burrito boost today for Scout Comics, The Electric Black. It's a comic... No, this isn't right. Why would I shoot it like this? Alright, this could be worth a shot. Let's try it. Hey everybody, I, I'm i Todd the Comic Burrito Boy. No. Hey everybody, it's me, Todd the Comic Burrito Guy. And I'm here to talk to you about Scout Comics Electric Black. Because it needs to be boosted. So, hope everyone's doing well. And No, that's not right. This could be the one. What up, burrito fam? This is Todd, your comic bro. Your comic burrito bro. And I'm here to talk to you about Scout Comics Electric Black for my burrito boost this week. So, fam, let's get into it. It's not quite right. Getting closer, though. All right. I think I'm just going to go against all the advice I've ever given and every instinct I have and just, you know, try to do this myself. Um, so, today's Burrito Boost, I am going to be talking about The Electric Black from Scout Comics, written and illustrated both by Robert Schmelke and Rich Woodall. It is a... not quite an anthology. They definitely have a connecting story, but there's um, Electric Black... Um, one through four, and then Electric Black Presents, which is one and two. Um, the original story, The Electric Black, is about a supernatural pawn stop store, antique store, that um, has a bunch of like different items that have magical abilities. Mostly like a cursed item shop. It's very interesting, very much up my alley. And then it's told in a Twilight Zone, Tales from the Crypt. Uh, style of storytelling. It's really enthralling. It's really engaging. I love how it's a different story each time. It's really, it's really fun. It really hits home with how I like to take my media in. Um, and then, so The Electric Black is a kind of like a first story. I'm hoping there's more. And uh, Electric Black Presents talks more about the origins of the items that are in there and tells a story for each of those. It's really cool. It's really interesting. I can't recommend it more. It is like somebody tried to just make a comic for me, which is just very flattering. It's very nice that they thought of me when they were making this. But I also think it would have some pretty big mass appeal. So yeah, Electric Black and Electric Black Presents, my easy boost of the week. Uh, Scout Comics, you can use the burrito code, burrito all caps at the Scout store. Uh, at checkout and you get 10% off uh, back issues. The Electric Black has a trade out for $19.99. Well worth it. Get out there. And I, I also love that it's both written and illustrated by the two guys. Like they do, those two guys do everything and they both have their hands in both worlds, which is just really cool. So yeah, Electric Black, Scout Comics, Robert Schmelke, Rich Woodall. Pick it up. Check it out. It's awesome. That's been my Burrito Boost. I'm Todd. And this has been Burrito Boost. I'm not really sure how we're going to be doing this. And we're all doing it separately, so... This is probably going to go terribly. But... Hmm. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments, and let me know why my choice, my boost, is better than Nick and Cole's. Because, I mean, come on. There's no way they're going to beat this. Bye!